There's often a perception that only marginalized groups can suffer from racism. Mindy Chung Wishart is perhaps the most powerful East and Southeast Asian person in British academia. Yet she's battling what she calls unconscious racism on a daily basis. I was uh, coming in, I forgot my, my card, and so I asked the porters here if they would just scan the door for me. And I got asked, uh, who was I visiting? Did I have an appointment? And I said, well, I'm the dean. What surprised me was that they followed me to check that I had the key for the door as I was claiming to be the dean. If I have to be charitable, though, then I'd say the porters were simply doing their job. What's wrong with that? Absolutely. I mean, the, the, all of these incidents are explicable. And uh, I tweeted, why are they particularly good at their jobs when it comes to people of color? Um, for the people of color, it's incredibly wearing and it's just tiresome. Yeah, because everywhere they go, it's the same thing. And uh, I was thinking, the ax forgets what the tree remembers. It's an unconscious racism. And I mean, this is the difficulty. People do it, they, they don't intend to be mean. They don't even know they're doing it, really. That incident prompted Mindy to start a Twitter campaign sharing her experience with racism under the hashtag RaceMeToo. I'm walking my PhD student, who is also a person of color, out of the college after our supervision, and we stop in the front quad to finish discussing a point. A white tourist is taking photos in the front quad, and she says to us, can you please move out of my picture? I want to get an authentic shot of Oxford. What does she mean? Clearly, if you're thinking about Oxford academics, you're not thinking of someone who looks like me. We, we don't look Oxford. Have you had somebody coming up to you and say, Mindy, you're so successful, you've been given so much already. Why are you still trying to be a victim? I don't stand on my victimhood, but I think that I am the dean and I have a platform and I have a responsibility. I think I'm in a very protected position, and that's partly the reason I've taken the risk, I would say, to tweet about these things, because um, I think they give validation to people of colour who've written to me offline to tell me uh, how important it was to them to see somebody in a position to, who was not afraid to speak about it. It's heartening to see more East and Southeast Asians now openly talk about their experience with racism. But the problem didn't just come about in the UK. I want to trace the long history of racist attitudes towards people who look like me in Great Britain. John the wall, he was on the oil. Bringing a few over from America to here, to this country. And do you know what happened after the war? He was forced to leave by this country. It is an, an, an act that the, the government are probably ashamed of.